Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys a look that I would do in the summertime if I want to look luminous and hydrated and glowy and I want to do something very simple but still make a statement. I use a lot of bronzer, a lot of highlight, and I chose to pair it with a bold lip. You can go neutral if you'd like or you can go with a blue lip shade literally this eye look pairs with anything you don't have to apply lashes i did this will look gorgeous with just your natural lashes also if you want to bring a makeup bag with you i would suggest to bring a powder if you do get oily throughout the day also i would suggest to bring a refresher spray like a mac fix plus or mario badescu um, facial spray anything like that you can make those sprays yourself with just glycerin and a fragrance um oil if you want to also i would say to bring if you do wear a bold lip to of course bring your lipstick if not a gloss will look lovely as well and that's pretty much it. Those three essentials will be great for you if you want to bring makeup with you while you're on the go. First, I'm going to start off with my complexion. I'm going to first prime my lips with my Burt's Bees lip balm. I usually start off doing my brows, but I'm going to save my brows for the end because I like to have a light eyebrow. And to get that, I need to do my whole face first so I won't go in so dramatic. To prime my face, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. To me, I feel like summer skin embodies moisturized and soft and glowy skin, so this primer oil will do that for me. So that's the only primer I'm gonna use for today. For foundation, I'm gonna apply my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is a luminous foundation, so it's gonna give more glow to my skin. And I'm gonna mix it with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And the shade I'm, I use is Dark Cocoa. And the both of these is gonna give me the perfect color combination. To blend my foundation in, I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. And this is going to soak up the product and also apply it thinner than using a more dense brush. And I'm just patting and dabbing it in. Now, as you can see, my face is very luminous, which I absolutely love. This is going to be a great routine if you have dry skin. For concealer, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. I'm going to highlight all the areas that I want to bring forward. And I'm using the pointy side of my Real Techniques sponge to blend it out. For me, I feel as though it's necessary to set my skin. So I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 355 Coconut underneath my eyes. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 360 to set my entire face. And of course, I'm using my Sedona Lace 311 to set underneath my eyes and around my nose just a little bit. These powders are very light, so it's not going to apply a lot of color. It's just to set all the areas. I'm just doing a light sweep. And to apply my face powder, I'm using a Sedona Lace 980. A summer look to me 
means bronzy skin. So I'm going to use my Ebony Bronze by CoverGirl. And I'm using my Sedona Lace FBO3. And I'm just sweeping this underneath my cheekbones. And I will go down my nose just a little bit. Get your forehead as well. And adding bronze is just going to warm everything up. If you want to go in and contour now, you can, but I don't feel like it's necessary for this look. For highlighter, I'm going to use my Milani Bake Bronzer in Soleil, and this is going to add a gold sheen all over my face. And I do bring it down to like the apples of my cheeks, the tip of my nose. And I like to bring it in between the bridge just to define my bridge because I don't really have a bridge. And I'm gonna apply on my above my lips, a little bit above my eyebrows. As you can see, the complexion is done and everything just looks set well, but it still looks dewy, which I like. It looks luminous. The highlighter is just gleaming right now, gleaming and everything looks good. Since I know my eyes are gonna be fairly simple, I'm just gonna go in with a brighter blush and the color I am using is Bella Rosa and it's by Milani. And I'm using an e.l.f. stipple brush and I'm just gonna apply that in between the highlighter and the bronzer, so. I love this shade for deeper skin tones. It's going to add a great flush to your face. And this blush isn't overpowering, especially if you use a stipple brush to apply it. For me, I have to prime my eyelids because I have very oily lids, as you can tell. So I'm going to prime them with the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector by Becca, as well as the L'Oreal Magic Decrease. And I'm going to set that with my powder I use for underneath my eyes. When the eyelids are set with a powder, it ensures that your eyeshadows don't crease. The eyes are going to be really simple. I'm going to go in first with my Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil and it's in Brown Deluxe. And I'm going to apply this all over the lid. From inner corner to outer corner. And I'm just taking a EB15 by Sedona Lace and I'm just blending the edges of it. Using Chocolate Tear by Coastal Scents, I'm going to apply this eyeshadow. I'm going to Apply that into the crease. This is just going to add some warmth and definition. You just want to light wash. This eye look is so messy and quick that it doesn't have to be structured at all. Taking a smudge brush, I'm just going to apply that same shade on my lower lash line. And if you want it more smoky, you can apply it a little further down, but I'm going to keep it pretty tight to my lash line. Make sure you connect the corners. To add a little bit of warmth, I'm going to go in with Secretive. It's by Morphe. It's number 71. I'm using the same crease brush I used previously, and I'm just going to add this, and this is going to give it a reddish hue and I want this to warm it up so I'm just applying it a little bit to the edges and apply it to the lower lash line as well 
And I'm just blending out the edges with a clean, fluffy blending brush. Now to apply a little bit more shimmer to the lids, I'm going in with my highlighter and I'm going to apply that in the center of my lid. The eyes are pretty much complete. If you want to go in with wing liner, you can, or just apply a thin line on your lash line. It will look great as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to apply some falsies and I'm going to add mascara. I'm going to brighten up my waterline and I'm using a cream pencil. It's the Milani Shadow Eyes and I'm going to apply that in my waterline. To brighten up my inner corners, I'm going to apply the Maybelline Color Tattoo and the shade I have here is Barely Brazen. And apply that to my inner corners. Pretty much look crazy but my brows not done so <laughs> let's start on the brows I'm just brushing them up for me to achieve a light brow I just go in with a powder and I'm taking the darkest shade first on this Milani brow fix kit and I just outline And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to take this NYX Proof It and run this through my eyebrows. This is going to make it waterproof and make them set so the hairs aren't moving around because the hairs on my brows are kind of crazy. So they do tend to move all, all around throughout the day. I'm going to clean up my brow just a little bit. I'm just taking the same concealer I used to highlight with and conceal underneath my brows just a little bit. I'm taking the same inner corner highlight and applying that to the highest point of my brows. This is just going to give it emphasis on the brow area, make them look lifted. You can pretty much pair this look up with any lipstick you like, but I'm going to apply a bold lipstick. First, I'm going to line my lips with Ruby Kisses Lip Liner and Cappuccino. And I'm just slightly filling it in. Then over top of that, I'm going in with Bang Bang by Melt Cosmetics. Because I want to add more highlighter <laughs> to my face, I'm going to add a little bit to my lips just in the center. As you can see, it's just giving a nice sheen and vibrancy to my lips and it's making my lips appear much bigger than they already are.
that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this is going to be my go-to summer look and if you guys want to see any other upcoming videos let me know and i'll see you in the next one